What's up YouTube? It's your boy Tim coming back at you with another YouTube video and welcome to TA Vlogs. We have a very special video for you today. It's going to be a hype beast house tour. Let's get into it. What's up man? What's up guys? How's it going? Good. Welcome guys. Come on in. Alright so we're going to do this like MTV style cribs. I'm here with my brother, Danny. He has a sick up, sneaker collection and a whole bunch of sick art pieces. Before this video starts, make sure to smash that like button. Let's go for 50 likes. So if you look right here in this corner, we have some bare bricks. We have two bare bricks right there bare brick on the stairs as well. For everybody that doesn't know, these are Basquiat pieces. They're all licensed Basquiat releases for bare brick. So we did move all the sneakers from his closet down here, just so we get a little bit more uh, cozier vibes down here. Um, we have a little Astro Boy, beautiful piece. Um, I know Danny, I don't know too much about it. Danny knows more about it. This so. is made by a dear friend of mine. Uh, he goes by Art by Bankrupt. And uh, he did a couple of pieces for me that cause Astro Boy. And then if you uh, pan up, you can see uh, my uh, Kanye graduation bear drop out. It's about six feet, right? Or it's is it it's eight, eight feet by four feet. It is a one of one. A lot of people have been trying to uh, get their hands on it, but you know, it belongs here at home where it likes to be. Not for, and, sale. Uh, not for sale. You not know. for sale, guys. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful piece. And uh, well, come on in. Make yourselves at home and Tim, go show them around. All right, so we're just going to keep it basically to like the living room. That's where all the hype beast items are. Right here, we lined up almost every pair that he has. He does have a whole bunch more upstairs, but this is basically all the heat. Um, we kind of did it in categories from Nike to Jordan uh, on the left side and on the right side it's more of Adidas, Yeezy and we do have a few other Nikes um, mixed in there. Wanna come with me right here? Here is the Hypebeast living room. So here we have all the cause figurines. Um, I don't know too much about it. Um, I'm gonna let Danny do some more explanation on these figurines here. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you've got the, the more recent ones you have gone, you have, you know, Little Lies, you have Pat, you know, I think it's along the way, uh, you know, and a few other collectibles, you know, these are the limited plush collectibles, you know, that were uh, some that we I really wanted for my, for my little ones to have. You know, that's a one of 300 Astro Boy. Not sure what um, Astro Boy is. That was uh, Complex Con, you know. We got an Astro Boy right here. Got some more calls. This was an all over red one. Was this mm -hmm. like a special theme one? or? Yeah, no? these, these two here, you can see these are like the Valentines that, you know, at least, but we have them in all colors. Okay, you so know, yeah. shout out to my man Kendall over with Hebrew, Hebrew Brantley and them who, you know, make sure I had these also in the, in the collection. You just said, what, what, you know, what these are the Flyboys. Fly yeah, this is the Hebrew Brandy Flyboy. This is the bait release. Complex Con. And these little, like, containers. Uh, these containers, these are, these, well, they symbolize, you know, they, they, they got a special meaning to me. I, I, I have a business that, you know, they're an intricate part of my business. We move a lot of product from all over the world uh, to all over the world. And um, so, and color-wise, they fit perfectly. And, I wanted them to be, you know, showcased because they, you know, like the books, everything here has a, has a purpose, everything here has a meaning, all these books, you know, uh, architecture, everything is a, is something that I'm very fond of. That's like, I like uh, this, I like this blacked out one. Mm -hmm. I've seen that. And we have some more bear bricks. We have a miniature bear brick right here. Then like, a, I know they have like size numbers. I know it's like a hundred, Yeah, these, this is a 100 and this is a 400 and then oh. there's, we have the 1000s around the house. 1000s. Um, you know, placed around the house. So. This was also another piece that we were talking about that was pretty sick. Um, 
So it was the Supreme History of Supreme. Yeah, it's a recent pickup. You want to open it up? Some people may have seen it, but you know it's the history. Do a quick. You Most know, all the photos, all the releases, all the drops. A lot of really dope images. Some candids. It's pretty sick. So as you know, I am a sneaker YouTuber, so I had to leave the best for last, his sneaker collection. Um, right now, I don't know the true valuation, but I would probably say at least 30 to 40, maybe even plus, 30, 40 K in sneakers, at least, maybe even more. So we're not gonna go over every single sneaker, otherwise that video would be about two hours long. We're just gonna do some spotlights on some heat that he has. Um, uh, he was telling me about these right here. These were uh, uh, these I got Europe exclusive. Yeah, these are these are these are they're not in boxes because I brought them back from Switzerland over the holidays, and I really love felt. It's a green grass. Uh, see these? They they're really they're really unique. I got them in both colorways because I had to have both colorways. I just have a really nice Carolina blue, almost. Oh, you know, these I you know you you everybody knows what they are, but I do want to highlight that. Without any preservation, these these are from 2007. I've had these for quite a long time. Everything I have, I wear, and I'm very proud to say that these have held up tremendously well, surprisingly well, more than better than I had imagined they would. That's 13 years of service. 13, yeah, 13, 13 years of service. Years. Almost about years. time to retire those. Yeah. Um, as you can see, he has the full undercover collection. So this was a Nike and undercover collab. I really dig this back part right here. It's kind of like a shark mouth. Um, I know this is a Japanese brand, correct? Yeah, Japan. So you have men and women's, believe it or not. Some of these are men's and women's, but I got them in all, all of them in my size because I have them. I think I the only them. one you're missing is an all black one. All black and, and, the, and the green and red. Yes, the, the, the Gucci, the, the Gucci yeah, colorway. That's what I they call it, the Gucci colorway. I'll find them eventually, but for now, you know. Um, let's see some heat. I'm seeing right here. Let's see. Obviously, you know, it's hype beast time. <laughs> As you guys know, Jordan 1 box, but not your typical Jordan 1 box. Shout out to my brother Frank, Chris, and everybody at Union. My man Frank was one of the designers of these babies that everybody knows very well. And they've been all over the world with me. I take them everywhere. I wear them as often as I can. As you see all these Nike boxes, these are main. These are all pretty much all Air Maxes, Air Maxes right? From '90s, '97s. Uh, you got Air Max ones. You got Air Max twos. Uh, Air Max two lights. Let's go through some of these right here. I know these Air Max right here. These, these are Air Max. Special. I don't know if y'all seen these, oh, but these snap. are the uh, you know the one of a kind. No, I'm kidding. It's my little girl. Yeah, these are these are stick right here, Jordan ones. He has the Air Max ninety in. Almost every color that came out. I grabbed two of the volts because I had I love that colorway and I wear them a lot. As you can see, these are for ice. These will come out later. These won't be touched for a while. Got the Tiffany blues, basically, right here. The teal colorway, the royal, as well as the royal colorway. That should be I haven't worn them either. Still BS. Uh, let's see what else did I want to spotlight. There was the. Which one? You have right here. I remember these right here. So right here, he was able to secure a pair of the Brazil Dunk Lows. Right here, this was this released about a week and a half ago. Pretty limited shoe. Pretty sick. I mean, you got you got we got the King Pushes here. You got the silver and the gold. These are yeah. Really, let's show, let's show these those are off. really dope. Let's see if I can get these out. Perfect. My old, you know, these are the brown bag King Pushes. Shout out to uh, Emily and them over at Adidas, my sister. These are the King Push. They've only worn these once, the brown bag boys. All right, so another popular shoe that he has, my sneaker of the year for 2019 is the Nike Sakai. Um, as you can see, he has four boxes right there. Um, another f almost full collection. Well. Right here, we have the Nike Sakai. We have these are the Sakai uh, Blazers. 
pretty sick show. Greg White. Everybody loves these. My personal favorite, the pink and green. Nike Sakata was just a sick shoe last year. Definitely wearing the all whites. That was white the, on whites. Yeah, the white on white joints right there. I did some with the laces. I don't know if anybody's done that yet with the laces, but I mixed in, took out the uh, the ribbons, and I threw in the regular ones along with these, so it came out pretty cool. I like the way they look. Right here we have a pair of Adidas Pharrell Human Racers. Um, this is one of the one of the last ones that he's come out with, more recent colorway right here. This is another one uh, I wanted to see about. What was what was this? This right here, this New Balance. That was one of the uh, the Kith releases, I believe. Uh, new Balances. Sick. Sure new Balance is definitely I doing it. The colorway. He's a Pharrell tennis ball. Pharrells. Sam Smith tennis. As you can see, they look like a tennis ball, uh, just not the colorway. Just like a white tennis ball, basically. He's the all red Londons. Shell toes. The city, that was part of the city edition. Red London right here, you can see the uh, Big Ben on the back. These are the, and these, these are Miz, these are Stan Smith, opening ceremony, baseball Stan Smiths. Got the right. baseball stitching right there. Another six shoe that he has in his collection, it's A6 right here. Those are Ronnie Feeds. Super dope colorway, very vibrant. Um, like seven different colors in this shoe. Yeah. And it's funny because it actually works. It's really good. Yeah, it, it works and it was a, a nice piece for their uh, their release last year. I think they came out mid, mid year last year, sometime around there. Nice, and you know ASICs are always comfortable, so it's not just for looks, you know, it's for comfort as well. These are the Nursha 700 V2s. So this is a V2 colorway. Um, this is actually the first time me seeing a 700 V2 in person. Um, I only have the V1, which is the Wave Runners, and it's actually pretty sick. I really like these horizontal stripes that are going across here, which are 3M, so when you hit that with a flash, they will glow. Another slept on sneaker is the Yeezy Power Phase. The shoe is very different than the normal shoe that Kanye does. Um, this was kind of, I felt like Yeezy just threw his name on an Adidas model mm -hmm. because it's basically a retro model. Like They have the same shoe for $70 at um, Foot Locker and Champs right now. Easy basically just threw his name on it. Um, he changed up a couple details on it, um, but they pretty much sat on his site. It's a very good everyday shoe. Yeah, we picked them up in Europe while we were there. One of our the, trips. the leather is so soft. That's yeah. what like my favorite part about it. Like they were good such... walking shoes. We got them because we were traveling at the time and needed something we could get dirty and run through the cities with. Them. So right here we have some. You said Union Vans. Union, Union. They came out at the same time as the con. You know these. I got these at Complex Con. So uh, right when the Con. right when the Union Jays when the ones came out. Okay. These were Complex Con exclusive or were they? Honestly, I'm not sure if they were Complex Con exclusives, but they, um, they. I picked them up there. I got them when we all went to go see them with Chris, with uh, everybody else. And, and that's cool. As yeah. I like that you can't really see the vans on the back. Vans, so. yeah. So these are dope. As you can see, they're beat up as they should be with vans. I think. I like vans, you know, when they're a little dirty. So right now we're basically just gonna do like a rapid fire of some of his Air Max that he has. We have a pair of Air Max 90s, all red, like a... Those are the, the Grimson's, the infrareds, but... Infrared, yeah, basically infrared Air Max 90. Air Max 2 light. Air Max 90, crimson red again, but a little bit with a... Those are the twos. So this is the, um, what are they called? Yeah, these are the, the fly nits, the 2.0 fly nits. Fly knit upper, basically, on Got these. Got a little white in them. You'll see a lot of Air Max 2s. I got them in all the colors. I love these. These are great everyday shoes. Extremely comfortable. Extremely comfortable. Air Max Silver Bullets, a staple in every collection. Ah, oh, I forgot about these. Those were the ones I was looking for. <laughs> yep. A more recent release, um, Air Max 90 Duck Camo in the Vault colorway. Next one to come out is the orange one, and the one to come out before this was the Basically the red one. Yeah, the, the original. Yeah, but these are really dope. I haven't, I forgot about it. You know, I didn't even remember I had these. Yeah, this is sick color, but I really wanted this shoe. Um, I hear some Hirachis. You always gotta have some Hirachis in your collection. You know, it's a, it's a must. Another Air Max 2 lights, you can see. 
They get a lot of use. I love them. Air Max this is probably one of my favorite all-time shoes and colorways and the new, more recent styles. Though this is yeah, a fly knit, but that's it's a OG. nine OG. That's the OG, OG Air Max Crimson. Right I got them in all colors. All Air Max and fly knit uh, high tops. I've never seen these before. Yeah, pretty the chuckle boots. Show. Those are chuckle boots. Actually, pretty chuckle boot version. These are the uh, part of the Olympic. Actually, the gold medal editions. They had. A, I got Air Max 90 somewhere. Uh, or I'm sorry, Air Max ones that are part of that release. Pretty sick. It's gonna be a comfortable shoe. Yeah. Uh, Air Max twos, purple and white colorway. You know, gotta bring it back to the old school Roshi runs. Yeah. This shoe was popping in about 2011, 2012. You could not keep Roshi runs on the shelves back then. Pick these up in Santiago, Chile. These are some some 90s, but you know, fly knits, but really interesting. I've never seen this colorway before here in the states. Another one, another of the crimson. So here, put them all out. Show them how, how beat up they are, but they're all different. They're all different. Yeah, like he was saying, he has another one, Air Max 90s, uh, similar colorways, but as you can tell, they're all different. The styles are all different. These different are hits, different nods. They're crack, and they've been got them forever. The undefeated Ultra Boost can't go wrong with these. These are great shoes. Super comfy. Super comfy shoe. As you were saying, Air Max 2 lights again. Almost every single colorway, full size run. Air Max 1s. Has a metallic green yeah, to like it. Yeah, like a sheen to it. These are really, yeah. really great. Looks like an oil spill almost in the wall. Yeah. Clear gum bottom up. And I got them in the vibrant yellow. So these the are yellow all and the green. very dope. Super dope shoe. I love these. I wore them for. Couple seasons. Love lace of ones. This is really nice. I always the detail of these is something that I was really always yeah the leather very is fun. like leather and they're woven woven ones. Uh, here are the Olympic. Here's the other one. Here's the one that goes to These. Let's see. Air Max One is also a major. Air Max One, they go with the, wherever those chuckles you had. Um, they were part of that pack. Got to have a classic Cortez in your collection, um, but he did switch it up and go with the Stranger Things collab. I'm yet to burn them. We got to do that one day. We got to. We definitely got to do the video of burning these. Um, they went with like a little off-white vibes right there with the unfinished tongue. Definitely is a nice shoe. Definitely will look better once it's burned and uh, customized a little bit on these. All right, so right here we have this Jordan 1 collection. Go right here. There's some barren Jordan 1s. Uh, this is like the shadow colorway for them. Those are great. Time to pass the shoes. Some of my favorite J's. Black and white Jordan 1s. I do not know the official colorway for this. Um, but you know Jordan 1s are popping. Any colorway for a Jordan 1 is popping right now. This is a more recent yeah, release, right? Yeah, more recent. Yeah, that's really was this a woman exclusive and you just were able to get your size or no? Was this a sure, men's? No, this is a men's size. Yeah. Right here we have the baby pink. Yeah, it's like a pastel. It was a nice color not too long ago. Yeah, the newer release. Yeah. Pine green ones. 2.0 version of the pine greens. And then pretty much right here, just all other Jordans that he has. Um, I know he was actually trying to move out of the Jordan wave because about two years ago, I did go to a sneaker event and try to move these for him. Unfortunately, two years ago, Jordan wasn't selling as much as they are selling right now. So we weren't able to unload this inventory. Not all of them, but you sold, what did you sell that day? You sold my Lightning 4s? Yeah, he had Lightning 4s, those were gone. Um, and then I did have some guy cast. Yeah, some guy cashed out. He definitely came by, cashed us out. All right, so we're throwing it back to old school Nike days when uh, Nike basketball was at this pinnacle. The LeBron 9, sick colorway right here. This is the Miami, right? Miami. Uh, yeah, basically like a Miami homage to the Miami Dolphins. I would probably say this is a nice Dolphins colorway. Um, I don't know the exact colorway though, but LeBron 9 is definitely one of my favorite models. Um, I would have to say the LeBron 8 would be my first, and then LeBron 9, my second favorite model for LeBron. These I want to show just because I think, you know, John Buscemi and them did a uh, an incredible job. As y'all know, Buscemi is a super high-end, super designer. Yeah, there's some designer drip. A lot of shoes, but put these in. We'll hold these for me for one second. I love that they come with the like the common projects and the other higher-end shoes. They got on their own little sack. But these are, I love these because they reminded me of Vans, the skates. 
you know, Definitely the release, stay high. but they do have the, the golden Buscemi touch, you know, with the golden zipper. Let's see if I can. So I just like to, you know, these are when you want to get a little more grown and, and sophisticated. <laughs> Got a little event to go to, throw these on. Stunt on the crowd? Yeah, without saying too much. So for the last two shoes, I did want to leave off with kind of on a high note. We have right here, as you see, Olive Green Box, Travis Scott collaboration, Jordan 6. Right here, glow in the dark, you know, Olive Green suede all over, a beautiful shoe. One that I have in my collection and one that I love. And a more recent release that he picked up is going to be the Metallic Purple Fours. Sick collection. They came in about three other colorways. It was a orange one, a green one, and a, I forget the last one, but I know the purple was in that collection. So it was a really good collection. I'm happy Jordan brand retro the metallic fours um, and the different colorways that they did. Alright guys, it's going to wrap up the video. You guys came through, you guys saw the sneakers, you guys saw all the calls dolls, you guys saw all the bear bricks. It's going to wrap it up for this Hype Beast tour. Um, I want to give a big shout out to my brother Danny for letting me come through and uh, showing off all his stuff in this collection. Uh, you want to shout out anything? Um, you, you know, we got a lot of crazy things going on you know, around the world and in our country right now. And, and I just want to make sure that I shout out a couple of the homies who have been, you know, stores and businesses who are the, the, the heart and, 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 and blood and, and the soul and the spirit of, of the sneaker industry and the streetwear industry, all, you know, who are out on Fairfax um, apartment 4B, you know, a brother of mine and his lady, they've, uh, you know, they've been through a lot. Their store was just recently destroyed and looted like so many others. Um, but, but that's family and I just want to make sure that, you know, that's why I'm wearing the shirt dedicated to them. Uh, you know, they're going to come back, you know, bigger and better than ever. Uh, shout out to Russ for donations and all the stuff that everybody has done for them. And, um, you know, just when you get to L.A. and you're on Fairfax, go see them, go check them out and, and, and tell them I sent you. Just thank you guys for coming. I'm glad, you know, I'm happy to be a part of this and, and, and showcase just a few of, you know, my more recent pickups and shoes that I love to wear. Like, every, you know, like all of us, we very fond of, of sneakers and, and um, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you click, you know, like, subscribe. Make, I got you right here. Make sure to hit that like button if you guys did enjoy the video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I was going over my analytics and about 60% of you guys that are watching, yes, you guys right now that are looking into my eyes on the other side of that screen are not subscribed. I need for you guys to go hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to see great quality content, um, I will be posting three to four times a week. So just make sure to hit that post notification button to stay up to date on all my new content. Don't forget to follow me over at Potato Chip on Instagram and TikTok at Potato Chip as well. Both of those links will be in the description box down below. Comment down below your favorite item in his collection. My favorite item is definitely gonna be that big Kanye bear. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace. All right guys, so since I did say this was like MTV Crib style, we gotta do a homage to them, do an outro just like that. You guys, I'm gonna let the guy, homeowner, do the honors. Man, you know, it was great having you guys. I appreciate it. I really do. But we got to eat. We got to do things. So I need y'all to get the hell out of here. Peace. Got to go. We got to dip. Got to get out. See y'all next time.